In this video, we're taking a look at the diving support boat, the Regal Built Talus, owned and operated by OMA. So come along as we explore. Here we are standing on the front of the Regal Built Talus, the OMA version, and next to us we have the consumer version. So if we take a look at the difference, primarily uh, there is a little crane with a towfish on the rear of the OMA version. Different color scheme, obviously, and uh, it's it's actually removed. It's not as important of a detail, but it doesn't have those rear windows in the back, so it's a little easier to walk around. And inside there is a little crane operator. So other than that, it's more or less consistent. But uh, regardless, we'll come take a look. So you got our two seats in the front and you could look down into the cabin there. If you walk along the side, you come to this uh, crane with towfish on the back. And a towfish is just something that you tow behind a boat and um, could operate to look at underwater so to operate this you release it and push the crane out and now that it's lowered into the water you can come into this little console turn it on you can turn on the attachment which includes both the uh flashlights or the, the spotlights and the uh, magol connectors so they're simultaneous and then you could lower the winch either up or down as you want and it tells you the, the depth so this is the seafloor depth this is our winch depth so now we're getting close to the bottom here obviously being a towfish you can you know use it while you're in motion and scan the seafloor it just kind of gets pulled with you but the idea there is if you're looking for say a shipwreck you could just have someone monitoring the display here and eventually it'll find it so that's a nice thing about that other than that so you have the stand you have the standard seating and the equipment on the side now if we make our way into the cabin here we do have a front anchor just like the regular regal built talus um obviously the helm here has the big screen with the uh, map it it has a uh, radar function as well which is nice verse gears here beacon locator and then all the lights and spotlights you have a hold heading feature which is nice if it's a little stormy and then to get into the little cabin here you walk through here this door now worth noting because we're kind of like on the water line It'll start to fill up almost instantly. So you definitely don't want to keep this door open for too long. And then once you close it, uh, it starts to pump out the uh, water. So as you can see, it's at zero now. So you just don't want to leave it open and flood the boat. So in here you have kind of these skylights, two berths and uh, diving equipment and one spear gun. So if you want to have divers as well as the uh, towfish, you easily could. And that's pretty much it. Nothing much to it, but it is a nice looking boat. I really do like how the shape turned out, especially the Omer version. And the contrast of that little crane on the back. So here we are going over a shipwreck, and you could actually clearly see that there is a shipwreck, even though it's 79 meters below the surface. So in this case, what we do is we turn around make our way back over it reduce the throttle a little bit there we are we're making our way over it we've reduced the throttle so now if we go to the towfish now it's anyone's guess which direction the towfish falls on in this case it's come like it should be rotated but here we are we're going over the site and you could see that there's a shipwreck so now you could have the operator stop it stop the boat get a little more feeling and then you can have your divers deployed and go down to 
to see it. So that's kind of how this can be used for surveys and for uh, scouting wrecks and stuff. Let's try to give it full throttle. We'll lift up the rim. <laughs> the rim, jeez. Yeah, so this is supposed to say trim. I just keep copying and pasting all my cre on my all my creations and it just keeps saying rim, but it's definitely the trim. So we're bouncing a little bit on the waves, but we're getting up to 40 knots, so. And then if we drop the trim a little bit for a more consistent. Yeah, there we go, kind of evened out. Oh, there we go, that's actually even better. She's flying, we're going 50 knots. That is perfect. And it's very maneuverable. You can turn on a dime. Obviously, when you're turning, just uh, be cautious that... I mean, the physics of the game and physics in real life, like, you, you, don't, you wouldn't turn a car at full speed to its stops, and likewise with a boat, so you want to be a little gentle and feather the throttle as you're turning. It'll be a much nicer turn than if you start bouncing out of the water. So there you have it. The Oma Regal Built Talus with the uh, towfish and the uh, crane. So hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.